Today we are finally doing a QA. and uh, a Everybody's been asking me to do a Q&A and stuff like that. And uh, I'm like, all right, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to answer all these um, questions truthfully. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try not to drag it too long, but like you already know I'm going to get the minutes. But I'm just like, but like for real though. Um, yeah, so we're going to do a Q&A. I'm going to answer all the questions. And uh, yeah, got them right here on my phone. Okay. So... The first question we got here is, how did you get your account back? Okay, so basically, when it first got banned, when I first logged in to my uh, TikTok and it said I got banned, I was like, yo, what do I do? Like, I had no idea what to do. I went to report a problem. I reported a problem and I told TikTok exactly what happened in the live stream that I got my account banned. And I told them, you know, that someone, you know, sent me a nudity photo and that's when, you know, it just went downhill. It took like three days for them to respond, um, like fully about me getting my account back. But, you know, it's an automated machine. So like, they're not gonna text you exactly how you want them to text you. Like, oh, I see that you got your account banned. I saw what happened. Like, they're not gonna text like that. It's gonna be an automated machine that like, kind of responds to stuff like that so you know i messaged them told them what happened and they told me that my account will remain permanently banned and i was like what and i said that and i'm like like why I, it wasn't my fault though like, i didn't mean to do that i sent them another one i don't know if it was an accident or not but uh but yeah so I got, I did that and that's when they messaged me back a day later and then they said your, you know, your account has been, oh, I thought that account almost got hit and they said that your account has been uh, reactivated and I was like, yes, yes. I literally was like screaming. Like I was like happy because like there's no way I just got banned like that and my account is gone. But uh, we're going to go to the next question. So the next question is. What made you want to start dancing and doing what you do? So I started watching Battle of the Year, You Got Served, Stump the Yard, All Stars. Like I was watching all these different type of dancing movies and I would literally do the routines over and over and over and over again every single day. And it was just getting crazy because I would just randomly just hit and flip left and right and dancing left and right. Because it's like when you see something for so long, you start to imitate it without even knowing later down the line. That's kind of why when you're around people and you're influenced by people, and even if you don't do it in that moment, you are influenced to do it later. You know what I mean? Without even knowing. So that's kind of how it was when I was dancing to the, you know, to the song and to the movies and stuff like that. And then I just kept emulating from there and doing what I'm doing now. I am a performer. I am a, you know, dance performer. I actually dance on the stage, like, as a guest. Like, when I go to, like, these, like, bookings and stuff like that, they'll book me to dance to a song. I'll dance to, like, beats and stuff like that. Um, and this was way before TikTok. So I was doing this way before TikTok and all that. I will always see how, like, excited people will be when I start dancing and stuff like that. And it's just, like, well, it would be so cool to come out to schools and do exactly that. But not only just do that, but to also spread light and spread positivity to the schools because anybody could be having a bad day and just having some fun at the end of the school day after a bad day could just brighten up someone's day. And you may not know, there's always that one person, there's always that one person that really listens and really watches what they're influenced by. Um, so it's like, you just never know what you could do by just showing up and spreading light and positivity to any type of community. So it's just like, I had the mindset, I was like, man, I think going to schools would be a good idea, but I'm not doing it for the, the, the likes and followers and, and the hype. I'm doing it to, to put smiles on people's faces and stuff. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's a good way to think about it and to be able to connect with people like like every day I get messages about people asking me for advice and that I made their day when I came to the school that I uh, I um, influenced them to want to start dancing again, want to start flipping again. Like stuff like that is what I really, you know, what I really look for 
and um, end this without just going and just wanting followers and likes and views and stuff like that. But uh, we're going to go to the next question. Next question is, do you think you're the best thing in Ohio? Oh, snap. See, I don't, I don't claim nothing. I don't, I don't want to walk around Ohio like I'm, I'm the king of everything. Like I'm not, I'm still a regular person. I'm not the king of nothing. Like I'm, I'm not the king of nothing. I see myself as a, a, a big positive influence on Ohio, not no king of Ohio. Like I'm not no king of Ohio. I can't say that for myself. I mean, I, I feel like me personally, uh, what I'm doing. I don't really see that in Ohio, and I've never seen that in Ohio when I was growing up in school. Like, I've never even seen no type of person doing this in Ohio, just pulling up to schools and just just breaking it down for, for literally everybody and everybody just having fun and enjoying it and also pulling up to people's birthday parties and, and weddings and all that stuff. I've never even seen that. I've never seen any type of influencer from social media ever do that in Ohio. So. For me to be able to be in that position, I feel like in other people's eyes, it may seem like I'm the best thing in Ohio for them personally, but I don't, you know, claim myself as that. I just, you know, claim myself as a positive influence in Ohio with what I'm doing because I never know who I can, you know, bring out of the darkness from when they were also like doubting themselves of not all, not just becoming an influencer, but also like building something that they that they feel like they want to build and that they really have an imagination on. Me coming from Ohio, you don't really see people from Ohio doing things that you will see in New York or California or Las Vegas and all these big areas. You don't really see people do stuff like that in Ohio because it's Ohio. Like what's like what's in Ohio? So like I want I want to also be a positive influence on others to know that no matter where you are and where you're from, you can still be just like everybody else that's in New York and California and Las Vegas. Not like like personality wise, but bringing what comes out of L.A. and New York and you can still have that in Ohio. You know what I mean? You just got to you just got to. You know, not give up, believe in yourself, stay consistent, and, and build up that confidence. Let's go to the next question. How do you deal with haters and other people who spread negativity? Ooh, this is a tough one, though. I'm not going to lie. This is a really, really tough one because words and hate is a very strong source when it comes to that type of thing. And um, how I, you know, how I handle it, I just know that, you know, I beautifully and wonderfully made in the image of God. I don't have to worry about nothing because they didn't make me and I didn't make myself, but God made me. So it's like, I'm perfect in his eyes. I know I'm not going to be perfect in, um, in their eyes. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people, you know, go to di go through different things. So they're obviously going to think different things. I don't, I don't, you know, flame on the haters because if you really, really think about it, hate comes from what they were influenced by and what they've been through through their life. Maybe they were going through bad times during their life and they're just taking out the anger without even knowing or purposely doing it because they want others to feel how they feel. You know what I mean? Maybe they were receiving too much hate that they want to make someone else feel that way too as well. They want someone else to feel bad about themselves because they seen that they were getting hate from either their family or their friends or something like that. So I think of it like that. Everything has some type of source going through a person's heart for them to act out the way they act. All right, I apologize. I had to come to my room because the sun was burning up my battery. So I had to bring everything in here. But um, yeah, so... You know, I that's usually how I think about it is I think about it as they must be going through something in order for them to be that way. Maybe they don't want to be that way. Maybe they just are that way. But it's all because there was some type of influence in their life that made them that way. So that's how I, you know, that's how I think of it. Um, I'm not going to just sit there and bash on them because they said what they said. And they said that I do the same dance, I suck and all this. I know what type of dancer I am. You know, everybody knows that um, 
that I don't I don't just do one you know one dance routine. I like do multiple because I usually dance on live stream and they see more than what I even provide on my TikTok. So everything has some type of you know source where you're not gonna show everything, and then this one you may show everything. But it's only because it's TikTok. You know TikTok has its time where it's like it don't really accept everything, but like TikTok doesn't accept everything you know they don't accept real talent they accept tiktok talent you know what i mean so that's usually what i do i stay with the trends things like that i'm gonna get in another video with that and i'm gonna do how to grow on tiktok how to grow your platforms and what you can do to grow your account and um yeah so that's the end of the q a uh let me know what other type of videos y'all want to see i appreciate you guys for tuning in to this q a and uh, yeah, I'm going to catch y'all later. All right, see ya.